a haircut today, <laughs> which is fantastic. Um, it is currently 9.04. I have my haircut at 10 o'clock, and uh, I'm getting ready to leave. I have this jacket on, or this oversized shirt that I wore on day two because it's comfortable. I'm kind of cold, and also my stomach's growling, and I was going to try and fast until I met up with Megan because I'm pretty sure we're going to eat a lot of food. Um, but I'm going to leave and bring my book so that I can read before my haircut. And then after my haircut, I plan on doing complete Swedish audio lessons, number three. So I have a, more stuff to do while I'm meeting up with Megan. Um, and then I'm going to call my granny and do stuff like that until 1 o'clock when I really buckle down on the studying. I'm also, I might do some memorize so I don't lose my strength. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, I'm getting to meet up with Megan today. Super excited. We're going to kind of like a cafe type thing called Simpkins, which I thought was just a restaurant. I mean, I thought it's not a restaurant, or it could be. Last time I went, I thought they just served ice cream, and now they have, like, sandwiches. So I really don't know what I'm walking into. Um, but I'm excited, excited to finally get this taken care of. And, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all later. Be say us later. You want to say hi? Hi! It's Megan! Okay. With my coupon in my mouth. <laughs> Very true. Where are we going? Yeah, I have 10% off the entire order. Oh! So you come here quite often. No, I bought a tiger card. truly fantastic vlogging skills because I'm home now so yeah it is 419 so I we didn't really study for too long we studied for two and a half hours probably um but so almost our three hour limit not limit minimum I don't know what wish whatever it's called but um yeah so Simpkins food very delicious. I already told my mom, I was like, Mom, it's a good price, and it was pretty tasty. I say as I've only had one thing off of their menu, and a frozen lemonade, and an ice cream cone, as you guys can see here. Um, speaking of which, oh my god, that is one scoop of ice cream? Can you tell we live in America, and one scoop, this is our portion size. Anyway, um... Yeah, so I still have to, a lot of stuff I want to do today because look at look listen, I overplanned. Okay, I thought it was gonna take me I don't know 20, 15, 20, 30 minutes to do one, like to finish up a complete Swedish thing. Nay, it took me two and a half hours. <laughs> what the heck? I don't know what was going on. I mean, to be honest, like, maybe two hours of that was actual studying because Megan and I kept, like, interrupting the other person to tell, like, to tell them cool things that we learned. Speaking of which, dang it, they didn't go. Speaking of which, I found out what I think personally is a super cool fact about the svenska spruk. Um, but it says that the verb mor which is this word right here, means feel, but it only means feel in the context of more do or yamo bra, fint, inti su bra. You don't use it when you say like, I feel stressed or ya are trut, right? Because you don't, you use the word e, e, e. I now know, I'm still like hesitant on how I want to pronounce this word because like, there's no, like, one correct form. Like, technically, I'm making sure... That's going to slide off. Like, there's no technical term for er, ar, e, whatever you want to pronounce it as. 
because they're kind of all correct, at least that's what Joachim Andersen says in his be absolute beginner to Swedish courses. Um, but I, I like the, f like, e, like, ja e trut, sounds better than ja a trut, or especially when you're saying, like, ja har, ja ha ar, like, uh, ja ha a trut, like, I have, it's tired, that's not a, that's not grammatic, that's not a good sentence, but that's like the example I'm trying to find, is like har and then ar, it just doesn't sound as good, so ja ha e trut sounds better, I think, better, 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 I think it sounds a lot better, and every time I say better in svenska, which is better, I think Russian, <laughs> that's what it makes me think of for some reason, better, I think of Riska, which speaking of which, I did have this thing where I learned languages and countries and all of that. Uh, do I know them by the back of my hand? Nay, maybe eventually. But um, some of my favorites to stand out Tisk for Germany, um, Kina for China. This one is just fantastic, truly, truly beautiful. Um, and, oh, Russian. Riesland is super fun. Um, but, uh, yeah, and as you guys can see, I didn't really do all that good um, on a few of these things. But I need to go over the self-check before I feel comfortable moving on to this. Oh, no. Where'd it go? Moving on to this, okay? Because I need to go through and read through this and do the practice problems. Somebody's in it again, and I thought they would be able to do it today, and she could not. Hun can you know? She cannot. Should be could. I don't know. Um, what else did I learn today? I also learned um, that Swedish doesn't have ing words. Everything is the same in the present tense, which is interesting and also like <laughs> kind of a relief because I don't need to learn like 40 million different forms of a verb except for endings and plurals. But I'm kind of like catching on to that. So, holy what the moly froly? That's not tall enough. Are you okay? That's gonna slide off. Okay, how's this? Um, new angle. Um, I think you're okay. I literally have already broken one of these exact cameras year, like, a couple years ago. Not going with. Because it fell off of the stand I had it on because the tripod was so thin and the camera was so heavy. And this time you fell off of this slant. So, uh, moving on. But, um, yeah, ING words, Svenska don't know them. And uh, so let's do the self-check super quick, super quickly so that I can move on. And I think it, I just think it'd be fun to do it here on camera. So, <clears throat> also I switched my glasses and I feel like I'm a whole new person when I switch my glasses. Switch my frames. So, okay. So self-check is I can greet somebody. Hey, you're Mardu. Um, eller, hey, vad heter du? Ja heter Madison or ja Engel Lar Lanare Lanara Dude learning is such a hard word La Lara Lara I believe is teaching Ja kan inte Lara Sprook Nay Nay Uh no way Um Use the present tense Yakoma, Yakoma ifrun. My bookmark is well. Yakoma ifrun America. Ya elskar America. Men inte nu ya inte els ya ya elskar inte America leadership. <laughs> Right? How do I say right? I don't want to use it like if you're right or wrong, which is rot. <coughs> I believe. Rot nu. That could be wrong. Um, use the correct word order to ask and answer questions. I still need to work on word order, so I might do that. 
because as you guys can see, it's like ya ya inte elskar, but ya elskar inte, I believe is what you would say. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna work on correct word order. I think I'm, I'm gonna look up like worksheets. I want some more worksheets, y'all. I love myself some worksheets. Um, yeah, men, ya, ya iska, ya iska, ya iska, trika vatten, ya e torsti, o vanta, that means like wait. Can I use that in this tense? Can I use like this in this sentence, like in this context? Ya vanta min mama. Get home. Home is hem, I believe. Heme, hem. From your bar. <laughs> anyway, that's gonna be the end of that. And I don't know if I'm gonna end today's video here. I kind of feel like I should, just because I just spent 10 minutes trying to speak, but I technically haven't really finished off the day. Um, but I work. Imoron, ya yo bar, imoron. So, um, the will, I suddenly learned how to say will. <laughs> we will see um, here imoron goa. I swear I read somewhere that goa does not mean go. So, uh, anyway, tak so makeup for watching. <sighs> ya behöver. Here, say, uh, watching for Svenska. Um, I hope you enjoyed this kind of like random at the end of this video speaking in Swedish type of situation because obviously I'm not very good at it, but I have a lot of fun trying to say my words in Swedish. So I think just with a bigger vocabulary, I might be able to improve. So yeah, this is day five. This is day five's progress. Today five was a fun day. I had one scoop of ice cream, which is more like two at the very least, and so I'm wired! But I'm going to go and uh, finish off two taste checklist. I'm going to, or maybe I'm not. I don't know, but I am definitely going to go and make, like, try the correct word order, like, write some notes on that. See if maybe your, your Kim can help me with that. And then uh, I'm going to make some flashcards, because I still haven't done that. I'm going to review uh, link for the day. And I think I'm gonna finish off tonight with watching some Hey Ninja because Megan today was talking about how she watches Korean shows and how she's gonna go home and watch Korean shows while her device charges. And I was like, I really need to watch more shows. So I think I'm going to watch some Hey Ninja today because uh, I want to. I don't understand a single thing, but it's super cute. And I'll take five new vocab words. Anywho, I'm going off on a whole other tangent. So, like I said earlier, tak su meka for watching. Um, if you have any like tips or recommendations for language learning in general or specifically svenska, please comment them down below. If you're doing this challenge with me and Megan, tell me how it's going down below. I am honestly, today I just feel like fantastic. Um, I don't know why I feel so good. It could be the ice cream. Could be, but I ate some good food. I had some great times with Megan, and then I changed my frames to these pairs. So, obviously, um, today is fantastic. And yeah, I don't know what you else do want me to say. Um, yeah, you have a good day. Talk to Mika for watching. Don't forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer, and I will see you all in the next vlog. Hey, Dua. See, look, I'm actually going to use that one because I don't need to say adios. That's not my target language. Hey, Dua. Turning all the lights down low. Turning our love song. Taking the kind of love we make. The kind of love we make.